does pregnancy or motherhood slow you down career wise mm-hmm. most importantly i do know of moms who having the baby alone has motivated them so much they are doing way better than they did before they had a child mm-hmm. so how- i think it depends on where you're on on your situation as okay. far as you know um how how together do you have it once you have the baby mm-hmm. and how much support do you have once you have the baby right. and also um you know where your drive is at mine is sort of like in the middle i feel like it can and it cannot mm-hmm. so when i say it can it can work because if you have a great support system then right. it can definitely work you yeah. know but if you don't have a support system and that's why you have so many single parents really struggling mm-hmm. to raise their children and everything just feels like it's crumbling because they don't have anyone else and i told you guys my mom was telling me the other day it was really hard for her to what what's the word to what to to do things to because do she was all? just a yeah oh, she was just a single parent oh, okay, yeah. yes to yes, go above and beyond exactly by herself. because okay. she was by herself so yeah. you can't really focus on anything else only person i believe who did it all like who is doing it all with a child is amina and she has a morning show by the way on capital fm check it out on the weekends yeah. only person i've seen who's doing it all everyone else no, i'm I seeing you have to give something you have to give moms. up something no, mm-hmm. i feel like it's how you view the situation okay you know you're like okay so you know this baby's not going anywhere yeah. right and there's never been a time when a baby has come into your life and that baby's not a blessing okay. cuz i mean the baby's there for a reason so i mean it's how you embrace the situation and if mm-hmm. you choose to get into this as oh my god my life Life is ruined. I am never going to be. I would be. That would be me. My work is <laughs> over. You know, and that's what's going to happen. Why? If that's the attitude you you go into the pregnancy with, yeah. then for sure, um, come the time the baby comes around, you will not have really put steps in place to ensure that this comes out in a positive way. I agree with what you're saying, and I I love it in a candy coated world. It sounds so nice, hey, but it's, <laughs> honestly, it is so damaging to tell young women you can have it all. You can give a hundred percent at work, a hundred percent to your husband or your partner or this support system, and then you're raising a whole little human being but into this world. But women are doing it. They're not. They're struggling behind the scenes. I've talked to quite a lot of mothers and, and young mothers, the and once they're like, you, "No, you cannot you, have it all." For you for motherhood that is definitely going to be a struggle i have oh. talked to one specific woman let me tell you a quick story i talked to one woman and she said she had she put her career first because she thought her kids needed the financial side of things more mm-hmm. than the presence of her but they actually wanted the more of her being there and that was impossible because she was traveling so much and she regrets that now she's like if i knew that's what they wanted that would have been their all out of work less and given less of my all to work and more to my family plan yourself some things just just you plan have, there's 9 months you know in between yeah. to just to, to come up with a plan and exactly just plan yourselves and even even before you get pregnant just know this is my plan don't just get pregnant and it's like okay gosh what do i do like what what do i do with work mm. what do i do with this make sure you just have a plan because when you have a plan then there's a few things that you do can you know- avoid